Oh, question. Who knows what prayer is? What's prayer? What's prayer? Yeah, that's right. You pray to God. And what is prayer? What do you think, Simon? It's a way to speak to God. Yes, that's exactly right. It's a way that we talk to God. Good morning. <laughs> it's a way that we speak to God, don't we? So you know how if I'm talking to you right now, talk, you talk back to me? When I pray to God, that's how I talk to God. Because I can't be physically here with God. God's not a, like a man that's standing here. But he's everywhere. He can hear us when we talk. And how does he talk back to us? Do you know? How does he talk back to us? Uh, um. <laughs> he talks back to us through his word, doesn't he? You knew the answer, didn't you? He talks back to us through the Bible. So we talk to God through prayer when we pray to God, and he talks back to us through the Bible. Okay, that's what prayer is. So today we are going to learn about what's called the Lord's Prayer, what's known as the Lord's Prayer, but really what it is, it's the model prayer. It's a way where it's one way that Jesus taught us how to pray and some examples of things that we can put in our prayer when we talk to God. Isn't that right? Yes? Isn't that right? Well, because Jesus here wasn't actually praying. He was just showing us a way to pray. But where is the Lord's Prayer? It's actually in John, isn't it? When he actually prayed for his disciples, John 16, 17, 18. But people know this one as the Lord's Prayer. Today we're going to look at the one in Luke. So here's Jesus. It's a picture that somebody's drawn of Jesus teaching his disciples. And like we're learning about prayer today, about talking to God. And you don't have to put your hands together to talk to God. God can hear you, whatever. Sometimes you can be walking. You can be talking to God and praying. You don't have to have your eyes closed. But why do we put our hands together and close our eyes here? Why? Because we don't want you fidgeting. Put your hands together. And we want you to close your eyes so you don't get distracted so that you're only thinking about God. You don't have to have your eyes closed when you pray. So the disciples asked Jesus. They said, teach us to pray, like I'm teaching you to pray today. He said, teach us to pray. And Jesus had a quick lesson to teach them some things that they can pray for. So here in Luke 11, 2, he said unto them, when ye pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. This is when we lift up God's name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. So when we pray, what's the first thing we acknowledge? You see here? Our Father. First it's God. Right? So first point, I want you to remember, when Jesus was teaching about prayer, and it's all going to start with P, so it's easy. Prayer, first one is we praise God, don't we? When we hallow his name, we lift up, we make it holy. So what was the first point? Simon? No, that's who we acknowledge, but it's praise, isn't it? First one. When we pray, we praise God. So in prayer, we praise. What's the first one? Put your hand up. Praise. praise. You want to put your hand up? You want to say something? Okay, next one. Oh, look out. This one's, he's praising God. Lifting his hands up. See? So you don't have to pray always on your knees. Sometimes at home we pray on our knees. We bow our heads, close our eyes. This man's standing. He's got his eyes closed, looking up to God. You can pray with your hands lifted up as well. Different ways you can pray. All right, here, what does it say here? Give us day by day our daily bread. So first one was praise. Second one is God would provide. Right? He'll provide for us. He'll provide our day by day, our daily bread. So what was the first one? Who remembers? Jeffy? Praise. praise. What's the second one? Simon? Provide. Provide. Okay, it's prayer. All right. Oh, look at this one. This guy's sitting. It's a tree. See, this is how sometimes we pray. We have our hands together, close our eyes so we're not distracted. That's how this man is praying. He's asking for his daily bread to provide. Okay, third one. And forgive us our sins. So sometimes, even as children of God, you know, like your children as parents, children of your parents, sometimes you sin. You need to have forgiveness. For we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. So it's forgiving, asking forgiveness from God and forgiveness from other people, being able to forgive other people. So first point, prayer, praise. 
provide. What's this one? We want peace. Peace with God. Peace with our fellow man. What's the first one? Praise. No prayer. Yes, yeah, praise. Second one. Provide. Who remembers the third one? Deffy. Peace. That's right. We want peace with God, peace with our fellow man. Last one. Look here. These guys praying. You can pray in a group. Like we pray as a group. There's three people. Jesus said, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. See, so when we pray together, Jesus is with us here. We can't see him, but we know he's here because he's told us in his word. And the last one. Lead us not into temptation. Ooh, that's when you do naughty things, right? But deliver us from evil. So praise to provide peace. What do you think this one is? All right, Katerina, what do you think? Protection. protection. There you go. You're thinking of the peas. To protect us from temptation, deliver us from evil. Okay? So this is how Jesus taught his disciples to pray. How do we deliver us from it? We have to follow Jesus, don't we? We follow Jesus, and we can pray about these things as well. Okay, so recap. Who remembers prayer, all the peas? How did Jesus teach us to pray? What was the first one? Praise. Praise. That's right. What was the second one? Provide. Provide. Third one? I'll give you a clue. Forgive us our sins. Peace. Peace. That's right. And the last one? Remember this one? Protect us. Very good. Okay, you learn how to pray. Now today, Katerina's got an activity for you. Craft. We can practice praying as well. We're going to trace our hands. So this is Katerina's hand. A bit bigger than your hands. Bigger than my hand. Oh, nails. Okay, I was going to say, long, long fingers. <laughs> okay, so we're going to write some things we can pray for on this hand and we can decorate it. Okay, it's going to be our prayer. We pray. Pray with our hands, don't we? <laughs> and you remember, praise, provide, peace, and protection. Okay, let's stand up. We'll go to the back, and Katarina's going to do this one with you guys.